and welcome back to another episode. So, the only thing that really changed off screen is Xanth managed to find the waypoint down here. For those of you who need to see where it is. Right there. And, uh... Oh, yep. There's that last guy. That There's I would also definitely... some possessed uh, dwarves over here. I see two of them. Uh, it's an elementalist and a marks one. Okay. And they have nothing for shields. And their damage is shit. At least this one's damage is shit. Right, let me go around this way then. I almost feel like this was intended to be a solo encounter. I definitely feel like this this was intended for a solo encounter. Like, they have no magic shield. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh. I walked too on, close. You're on the other side. And, yeah, they really don't have anything. No, they have nothing. Like, I'm about to crowd control them into the ground. I think I'm just gonna say fuck it and murder this one. I think I can turn one and murder this one. I have high ground bonus. So... Let's see, well, is there anywhere I can get a... No, I don't see anything I can use all the fire So this is 21 meters away.
It would seem so. Maybe we should go back to the other areas and them as well. I prefer if that thing didn't explode next to me. Oh. Can you teleport it? I might be able to. I don't think that's necessary. It just, well, ran away. I was hoping to achieve. That one yelled at you. I noticed. It said... Got licked. You gonna take that? chamber key? Yeah, I'm wondering where the private chambers are. Did you have the NHS already? I don't understand. No. Why did this happen? Why was the here to save me? Yeah. Too little, too late. And Revelon's been on its own for two. Why am I still here? Oh, God. Yay! Potions. That's what I want all my ornate chests to have. The spirit's hands are clapped firm. Kill the dwarves! They are not your- And when the eggs get them- You pull away with a jerk. There's a, uh, source pool for, uh... Wait, why did Lossie go all the way over here? To the cold crawler void woken? Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. Pathing? I'm confused. Run away. Oh, okay, she's good. I am really confused right now. How? Oh, and now the Red Prince is in combat with it. Oh, my God. What the? <laughs> Fucking idiots. Whatever, I'm just gonna leave him in combat for a second. Finish looting all this stuff, talking to the ghosts. Never thought I'd be 
if you had come on, I wish I could tell you, but all I know is I were to God you spared me from that at least. Be damned if I then the next thing you know be damned. Then like you what are you doing now god get out of there oh you're trying to get out of combat yes shit how's it going to help and then it gives me you know last turn thank you you're welcome Teleport it down because it wouldn't be able to get back up. And now we can get high ground on it pretty easily. Because something tells me that bitch can't use a ladder. having two mobility skills, isn't it? Yes. damage to it? Helpful. Maybe. I am loving how that little post right there is right in my way. Wow. Dang. You were so good. So apparently staying this close to the edge, bad idea. Yeah, but you kind of have to to hit him. Is there another place I can stand? Actually, I think I found a spot. Uh 
I don't know, I feel like this thing's gonna die really hard. I don't think there's much point in me moving. Be my white mage. I don't know, moving over to where Lossy is might not be a bad idea. Because this thing can one turn you, dude. Final move. Is it a better ways to rest, scroll? Your choice. So I'm telling you right now, you gonna die. I think you're gonna have to still move. Oh wait, yeah. Cost me zero action. It cost me two action points to move that distance. Question is, can you hit it from here? I have high ground. I can hit like everything. Okay. Well, then shoot it. It's amazing. Do things. Oh, I will. So isn't that adrenaline skill kind of useful? Eh, I mean, it's nice to pump out more damage faster, but I'm not really sure how much I like it yet. Might as well. Set the higher. Nope. Fucking sails in my way. <laughs> Whatever. That's gonna hit hard enough. 128's non crit. Can I crit? No. <laughs> That's okay. You're stunned. You're not. Or, I'm sorry, you're shocked, not stunned. I think that was another debuff that failed. You know what? Fuck you, guy. Whatever, just end your turn, it's dead. It's dead. Well, then murdering it's... I have to shoot it in the tail. Because that sail is in my way. <laughs> shield. Yeah, this is the room where I end up being teleported to. Oh, okay. The question is, is can we find where the private quarters are? Um, where have we not been? We've been literally everywhere except there's this spot. Um, 
in the original cave, I think. Because I don't see a way to get... I don't know, because I don't even see an entrance or an exit on the map. Okay. Why is that even uncovered? I feel like we haven't been there. Um, hey, I guess I'm going to start traveling through some holes. I got to pee. But I think that's probably our best bet. We got to get holy. Another one. And this one's gonna be a bit more of a pain to fight. Maybe? Yes. No oh, wait. Background. Nope, there is. I mean, I could always kick it to death, then it probably wouldn't even try to attack me. It seems like it goes after the person who does the most damage to it. I feel like that's a mechanic. So what, you went down, uh, or you went through this yeah, crevice here? You can hit it here. No, you went this way. Hold up. There's a... Oh, this is how we were supposed to have gotten into the area with the prince. We just kind of went a back way. There's high ground here. And we already killed that uh, Void Woken there. So I don't have to worry about him. You coming? Up here. Hi. Basically, make it to where the Red Prince was the one who initiated combat. Huh. Every time, he doesn't. They these things do not like you. Dude, it's literally they go after the person who did the most damage. I guarantee you that's the mechanic. Big buffs and stuff. It's just freaking 1500 shield? I mean, come on. That's just absurd. He is only 13 years old. And that still hit a 300. Almost.
course. matters I mean I don't really know the mechanics but I don't think it matters what you're opening as long as it's the first time something's open there's the chance for the um yep Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about it. He has a he talk option. Really tanky. Yeah, but these are all these guys are prese and No, it more does. Yeah, that was in the quest log. And I think he gained 71 armor a turn. Ooh. Yeah, this might be a bit on the rough side. He doesn't hit very hard. Yeah, but look at all the other things that he's with. But he walks up over here. If I can hit him from a distance, it might not hold them all. Like, remember that other fight? Yeah, I mean, try. But. God, and of course, everything in here has so much freaking energy shield. One, two, three. Oh three, man. Four. Fair and blunt. Look how far I can shoot. I'm gonna shoot the ground. Damn. I don't know, you wanna go talk to him? You're the one who has like all the movement stuff. I can. I mean, it just got through auto saving, so. Alright, I'll go talk to him. Dude! Where? I don't know if I'd waste your movement right now. Whoa. I can teleport that far? Damn. <sighs> yeah, so let's just start. Oh. Um, he has higher initiative than me? Yes, he does. What's his initiative? Uh, I don't know, but he has 22 wits. Um, yeah, I have 32. Oh, 
Oh god, line. Yeah, he did that. Uh, um, I feel like we should reload because I'd like to pick him without getting all these other guys. I mean, I can make it up to the ladder, but I don't want to drag everything over here. I want to see if there's any chance we can start the fight. Unlikely. But even if so, then I'd still be able to start the fight with a shot that hits stupidly fucking hard. Like, dude, I can hit him from 30 meters away from this spot. That's gonna hit him for like a 400. That's gonna almost break his shield right there. Yeah, right now I can hit him, and he's good. He's 25.5 meters away. Okay. 29, yeah. Almost, about 30 meters is the max. Well, hold up. If, uh, Lossy and... If we shoot this at the same time... We, we, oh, she can't shoot that far. You absolutely need to have clear mind with them whoever's shooting the first shot. You don't want the 75% chance to miss. It's just don't cast it yet. Ah. Uh. You're gonna want to cast it on me. I can shoot him right now. Uh, the thing though is I have the ability that hits harder the further away he is. And 28 meters is about 150% additional damage. It's gonna almost one-shot his shield. But don't cast it yet. Alright, cast it. And his physical shield is borderline broken. points you have, dude. This will remove blinding. I was going to with uh, the Red Prince. So before all these asshats get here, we're going to have that guy dead. And well, good, because I'm hoping that whenever he dies, they won't be possessed anymore. Not only that, but when he dies, I'm thinking we can like go down this hatch and restart the fight to where everything has to move back if things are still possessed. Hit him through blinded? No. I don't have enough range. I mean, you could climb down the ladder. Just save an action point to climb back up. Does it cost, what, zero to climb up and down a ladder? Um, no, it's, it costs action points to move. That's the thing. It costs action points but to move. But it doesn't to climb up a ladder. No, it I does. Saw, I saw Zen. zero. Sam, let, let me explain how it works. Whenever you click to move, it means that, that for that entire action point, you can move whatever your movement distance is. If that means going up a ladder, you can go up a ladder. The ladder doesn't retract from that movement, but the whole thing is, is you're spending that action point to do so, a movement. Yeah, okay, so what I said previously, save an action point to move. Yes. 55% chance to hit this guy. Well, let's hope you hit him.
Because I'm also going to be down. I'm going to be down some action points. Because of adrenaline. Yeah. So I don't think I'll be able to finish them off. Unless. If you hasted me, would that combat adrenaline a bit? Uh. A haste does kind of combat adrenaline from what I've seen. So instead of me starting off with four, I'd start off with five. Yes. That might not be a bad idea for you to do with one of those guys, then. Uh, save the Red Prince's um, action points for damaging him, though. Because we want to try to get rid of him turn one. And don't hit him with magic. So confused as to how this guy built his stuff. My Lucian killed his Amarna and his Mentora, but didn't kill his Katarina or um, Water Magic Knight. Lapis? Lapis. Thank you for that. Ooh! He now has 178 armor. That okay, probably so came from, uh, let me see, yeah, it came from his Preserverance. Yeah, so, so much for killing him turn one. down. How do you miss that? Was it a 95 that failed? 90. Well, of course, they're casting Fortify on him, because why wouldn't they? They are really trying to keep this ass out a lot. Start this fight, but keep Losi away from the edge, so only one of us gets blinded. Because that blind is what kept this thing alive. Because she wasn't able to attack him for like two turns, he would have been dead already. So if this goes south, just keep her away from the edge when I start combat. The problem is, it's about to get a turn, which means his armor's gonna go up to like 400 almost, or 300 at least. And all these guys are here now. So this is about to, well, uh, we're about to lose. Yeah, 
Yeah, we lost. You know, if the game would, you know, give the mage half decent gear, mage might be a bit more useful than just sitting here buffing the fucking party. Well, honestly, the mage was always going to be useless as fuck, just because it's three physical characters, one magic based. And there's a lot of people on the forum saying that they run that team composition and their mage does fine. Yeah, your mage does fine. Okay, you know that clip that I showed you of that guy basically one-shotting that boss? Yeah. Three physical, one mage. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying you're almost useless because you have to- You're the only one damaging magic shields. So magic shields are so much harder for you. So you'll do significantly lower HP based damage than anyone else in your team only because there's- it's three versus one. That's just how it is. There's really no getting around that. What up? Don't buff me yet. I have to wait for it. Okay, well, he's almost in range. I mean, he's like right at the edge. Actually, I can hit him from here. If you buff me right now. No. Fuck. And he just went out of range. Right? Alright, hold up. Let me take a turn. Well, let me go ahead and uh, do this. So he has 38 armor. From 500 magic. Wait, were you- 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 you didn't wait, like I- I- I said. I told you to keep her away! Reload. She has to be away from the edge. Because we only have one more thing that cures blinding. And we have to absolutely not have either of the two rangers blinded, because they're the primary damage. It's just, we're wasting the blind turn, or the blind remover turn one, because we're kind of forced to, or else a 75% chance to hit will fuck us. Because it'll start combat and miss. I um, mean, just try taking a pot shot at him. Um, without it, that way I can cure the blind. No, just stay away from the edge. What benefit is no, there? No, Zant, I'm talking about you specifically. I'm not gonna buff you, just try taking a pot shot at him. Hopefully you hit without the buff, so I can save it from whenever he blinds you. I can unblind myself. Yes, but then you can buff Losi whenever I go to move her up. But I'll still be... Well, whatever. I can try it. So what do you mean can't reach? <laughs> and his armor just regen. So it didn't start combat. to get her hasted before uh, I got into combat myself.
I feel like the first time we did this, we dealt a lot more damage than we did one. Let's see. like 180 something. That's not bad. Yeah, teleported a thing on top of them. <laughs> Gen any armor. Should I cripple him again? It's not a bad idea. Fight him, and they're healing him. Nice. Because, you know, he gets healed poison damage. <sighs> I feel like I missed a turn. No, you didn't.
they actually go after him, then we have this in the bag. He used it on me. So the question is, how much damage can I do? Well, bloody arrows. I only have two shots because of that, though. Assuming no one heals him, he's dead. Why not? Because now I have to res myself. Otherwise, I'm going to miss the experience. Yeah, we don't want you to miss the experience. Deal physical damage or just bypassing shield damage? It should, in theory. I mean, because that would that would buy that would uh pretty much cancel out him regenerating shields for two turns. Plus, it hit him for like what 90 right off the bat. Yeah. Oh, let me see. It would make you able to actually do something to it. So I definitely feel like this guy would be easier to kill with, uh, with, ma with magic. Just because he doesn't regenerate magic shield per turn, does he? I don't think so. Oh! 594. Yep, I just hurt him. Completely bypassed. Hmm. He only has a regen for one turn, though. But hey, it's still some damage. Honestly, from here, I can KO him. Next turn I'll be able to hit him three times and each hit it's like 200. And then he's gonna take another, um... <laughs> Kill the boss to kill it! Pretty much! I'm teleporting away now. Good idea. <laughs> Your spell heal just crit. Yes, it did. Kill the fucker, please, for the love of God. Uh, that's funny. You know, I think we won that just because of that. Because of that idea you had. I don't know, because this is a lot of damage. And I still have another shot. No. And I was right. Squish. I was hoping they'd be friendly, not just insta-squish. I guess that explains why they were protect- Ooh, three poison arrows. Why they were protecting him so hard. Oh wait, he's alive. 
He is begging for mercy. More poison arrows. Yeah, he's begging for mercy. I don't know which one of the three options. It's say, oh, consider mercy, but there's something you need from him first. Sneer at the quivering skeleton. How much gold is his life worth? And monsters don't get mercy. Strike him down. Actually, hold up. I'm just going to go ahead and save. Mortis. Mortis. Dignity. Do. I'd save and... Just in case. Well, hold up. I'm just going to see what the quest log says. Um, I have a feeling if you give him mercy, he's going to get up and start attacking from full HP again. Also, I found a uh, pair of, I believe to be, ranger gloves that are legendary. The undead dwarf looks quickly over. Of course! Of course! Anything! Just name it! So, what does Google say? Okay. Um. It says you can decide to let him live or not. If you force him to tell. tell you who he's afraid of, who his master is, basically, then he'll be ripped apart before he can teach you anything. Mortis can teach you source for powerful awakening, but don't hesitate. If you want more source, eat the organ. You can kill him later. I mean, I feel like there's not really much there. Eat but the organ? Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, so what are you doing? What? The skeleton slowly lowers his arm. Of course! <laughs> and I'm worried we could not find... If you swear, you won't banish me to the afterlife. Am I not? The skull before you curls into a maggot... No, you need me. So I teach you and you spare me. Do we have an accord? I don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, killing Mortis will end the fight, but you'll lose out on the experience from the other dwarves. Well, shit. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I don't think we would have been able to contend with all of that. Well, we could have spiked down the one that was super close. Yeah, but he also had no magic armor, so I would have actually been useful for that. All the other ones had, like, at least 400 magic shield. Yeah. I can't deal well, with that. Basically, what I'm saying is, like, we could have spiked down the one that was super close, then run away, restarted the encounter, and there would have been one less thing. I mean, you know, anything makes it easier. No, I really feel like that that ability that hits harder based on how far away you are that is like MVP especially with high ground because it, it gets so many bonuses it's ridiculous like I want to point out that the skill oh let me put clear minded on so I get a more accurate Praise be. very well God will source and void day and night love and hate the skill to your source to achieve your Fair. potential, Wait, you must the skill deals the 69 to 82 physical damage. What skill? The one that was hitting for four to five hundred. Oh. <laughs> That's how much the bonus is it getting. Reaches into the folds of his robes and pulls out a small black mass. Here, God Woken. Take a bite. Finest meal you'll find in this cave. Your guard stirs, pushing you to eat it. Do not fear, a voice whispers. Perhaps not the most appetizing thing around. The skeleton extends his arm, jiggling the heart towards you. A glob of dark yellow pus. The thick pus explodes into your mouth, coating the back of your throat. You can feel it running down your throat like ran. You start to retch, your body struggling to reject this intruder. But your teeth clamp deep within you. You feel something change. Your soul opens up, and you swallow all you can. 
and despite the meat in your stomach, you feel a new... There, I held up my end of the bargain. I did as you asked. And now I'm getting as far from this cave as my bones will take me. Mordus looks at you in alarm. God's graves, please be quick. I, uh, I had no choice. They wanted to just they haul barrels of the greatest weapons in the world off a ship and then just we couldn't let it happen. We needed it. So I I took control. Ah! The Queen! She saw what Deathbob did to the Black Ring! She saw it just and he told me to make sure she got it! He told me to ensure they got to. <laughs> Arcs. The barrels were going to Arcs. The power gifted to me. The power of Morda. It was a gift from. It was a gift. I. I can't. He'll hear. He'll know. He'll find me. He'll come. If I tell you, I die. Mordas takes a step back. Looking about in half cr I can't! I... I can't! Not now! It's too late! It's all too late! You grab the dwarf's old, brittle arm and follow through with your knee. There's a dry... St ah! No! Stop! You relent, and the dwarf stumbles back. Cra it's... It's him! The one the Seven rejected! The god! The dwarf is interrupted by another crack. You see, his femur has developed a break. The fracture spreads, shearing the bone. He looks up, and you see that his jaw is cracked, broken, and falling to pieces. Fishes are starting to run across his skull, and his ribs start to snap and fall one by one. No air presents themselves, but Mordus reaches out to you, his quivering hand desperately grasping for help. Before you hear the tiniest whimper from the skeleton before his face caves in, as if smashed with an invisible mace. I've never felt so alive. You feel newfound powers of the source course wildly through your body. Deep inside your soul, your god calls. It would be wise to meet with your god again by performing the Meister's ritual. The thought of death fog gives you pause. A weapon like that should give everyone pause. So he gave you a weapon? All weapons have a purpose if wielded correctly. Something like this could end prolonged bloody campaigns in a day. Ah, death fog. Instant victory. Who wakes up in the morning and thinks, today I'll invent something that'll be able to... <laughs> no. Uh, Did he give you a weapon? I don't see a weapon. I don't know, here, I do these. They might actually be an upgrade for me, hopefully, maybe a little bit. 31! I mean, they'd be good for what's her name. I just, I mean, my gloves are fucking awful. It's just they have the perfect things. They give, well, there's two of the things I want. They give Finesse and Huntsman. I'm definitely thinking we should save. I will, give me a minute. We already picked the place clean. Yep. Is 
saved you the hassle. Oh, fuck. Oh, you missed a barrel. Cool. Here's another thing that I do. Oh, God. It's an upgrade for you, possibly. So, sure. I mean, unless you want me to just leave the desperate. Um, actually, here. I don't know. That's plus one to huntsman, plus one to summoning. Um, eleven physical armor, forty-four magic. It requires twelve intelligence. I don't know. I think I like mine more. Sixteen physical armor, twelve magic armor, one to finesse, one to hydrosophist, and grant skill winter blast. Yeah, and I don't want to get rid of mine because it's giving me a healing ritual. I do not want to get rid of, at least at the current moment. Okay. Did you find a way to Did I find a way to I did. There's an exit. Oh, you went through it? Yep. Some of her cargo may remain. There's another thing Door to Eternity skill look? Oh, that's a uh, source skill. Oh. Metal shield, a two-handed axe. Yeah, there's stuff in here. Captain's compass amulet. Alright, I sent you a uh, one-handed mace. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you do? What happened? That's death fog. Instant death for the living. Well, that's a shame because there is a, uh, a unique amulet right there. It's not particularly any good, but. Well, I may not get it. How? Undead guy? Hmm. There's also a whole other area, I believe. Really. It's forced to do this, because it seems like you Is were kind of you still went? looting... No. Um, it seems like you were still looting things and whatnot whenever uh, I yeah, died. Yeah, just, just reload. Okay, because yeah, I only have one rest scroll left. I only have five. Yeah, we need to restock on those pretty good. Game. Come on, I have you on my SSD for a reason. Up the mushroom. Come on. Thank you. Here, grab that. I can go grab at least a couple of the items that are down there. Oh. You what? might want to reload again. Why? This chest didn't have that purple mace in it this time. Okay, well, hold up. I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here. We're gonna see if we can uh, gear hunt this chest. End up giving an upgrade for, guess what, our melee character. Because why give the magic users anything that they can use? Mm, doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, we'll see you in the next episode.